What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's go ahead and open up six brand new Hot Wheels five packs. And we'll start it off with the brand new Night Burners five pack. We've got five really cool looking cars inside of here. Graphics on the side, some information on the back of the vehicles included, and Night Burners name on this side. Let's go ahead and pop it on open. Maybe I'll use my X Acto knife to open up the cars today, and let's hope I don't cut myself be really really careful here and that didn't get it open let's get it open this way here here we go there we go all right we might have to resort to just ripping them open afterwards here there we go we'll just open it up right here and we'll grab our first car right up top and this one is the corvette gas monkey garage very cool looking we've got this like matte gray color to it which is really really interesting so you can see that matte gray finish to it but it's a 68 corvette we saw this one originally come in green that's the actual gas monkey garage color but i really like this matte gray finish to it we got some black graphics on the side with the 68 chrome engine chrome interior very very cool and our next one that we have included in here We've got the 1970 Ford Escort RS 1500. Check that one out. Check out this color. This color, it's almost like a tealish blue color. Really, really like that. Gold wheels on there. And then we have the lights right there with like kind of the clearish plastic kind of sticks out right there, which is kind of unique. You don't really see that too often where they put that separate plastic piece in there. It's like actually stuck on. I don't know if it's like glued on or pushed in or something like that, but very, very interesting design. Not much as far as tempo work or anything goes on the back like that, but we do have that nice wide body design for this Ford Escort. We'll go ahead and put him aside. And then we've got the Datsun 510 Wagon. Very, very popular car. A lot of people like all the color variations of this one. And this one's kind of like a matte tan finish to it. It is a matte, matte finish paint job on there. We got the re really off-center striping down there. And then we got some sort of graphics on the front, some sort of uh, probably Japanese writing of some sort. I don't know exactly what it says. If you guys know what it says in Japanese, you let me know. And then we got uh, cool looking like, what is that? It's kind of like a lightning strike, but it's in a different color on the side. Black that wheels, gold trim on there. Pretty plain on the back and on our front end. We don't have much as far as stamping, but it's a really, really good designed car. And we'll go on to our next one right here. Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR. Uh, there we go. We got the Dodge Viper SRT and ACR. We got the cool looking green, big spoiler on there. We got, look at the graphics on the side of that. That is really neat, very interesting. And is that a little little Viper logo? No, it's not a Viper logo, it's some sort of other logo on there. I can't really see exactly what that says on there. Gray wheels on there, staggered, so we got bigger ones on the rear compared to the front. And we've got a very nice looking aggressive front end. No, no, like, no stamping or anything like that on the top, nothing as far as the front headlights go. It's just basically all saved for the side. Actually, the back does have a little bit of stamping for the rear lights right there, is it? No, nah, maybe not. Maybe it is a little bit, but Dodge Viper, really, really like it. We'll add it to our collection. We'll put that aside. And the last one that we have for this Nightburners five pack, we've got the Porsche 934 Turbo RSR. We've seen lots of different color variations of this one. I really like the big tail on this one. I like these, these old Porsches that have the big like turbo tails on there. They look really, really cool. And then it's, of course, it's a really big wide body on there as well. You can see that wide body look to it. And this is like an interesting color. I don't know if it's like a candy apple reddish color to it. Almost I, like, I don't even know what to say what the color is. I'm, I'm colorblind maybe, I don't know. You guys tell me what color this car looks to you. What does it look like in my nice shiny lights right there? We got 934 on the front end but it's an interesting car. I do like this one. And our second five pack that we're opening up today, we've got the HW Zombies five pack. Zombie themed cars inside of here. I mean, Halloween is coming up here, so I guess that's pretty cool. We've got uh, HW Zombies, we've got the zombie guy on the side right there, some graphics and all that good stuff on the back. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. We'll try and open this one up nice and clean right there all right let's see if we got it this time did we get it no we didn't i'm just gonna fail at opening up these packages with my exacto knife we might have to just go back to the whole ripping of the packages open it seems to work quite better here all right we'll put the cars aside right here we'll grab our first one up here and this one looks to be the chevy blazer 4x4 there it is we got some interesting graphics and stuff right there on the side what is this rescue so i guess it's the zombie rescue machine big raised up suspension black 
tires with the white uh, trim on the wheels right there, blacked out wheels. And we can see on the side right here, Chevrolet. We got all the zombie gear, the zombie fighting gear on the top right there, rescue machine from the side of it, but uh, very interesting. I like these raised up Hot Wheels cars. And our next one that we have included in this one is Cruise Bruiser. There is Cruise Bruiser. It definitely look, look, looks like a zombie. We got the, the zombie on the side of it as well. Check it out. Crazy looking zombie on the side of it. Big chrome front engine on there, chrome interior on there. This looks like a demolition derby car. If you guys ever watched demolition derby, this definitely is a demolition derby car. That is for sure. Good for a zombie mobile as well, but there it is, Cruise Bruiser. And our next one that we have right here in the packaging, get out of here, it's stuck in the packaging. There we go. We've got the 2015 Ford F1. 50 right there nice glossy black color and then it's got like i don't know is this like a zombie fighting machine this looks like a zombie camera car of some sort crazy looking colored wheels on there big chrome grill on there this is going to scare the zombies away look just look at that gloss black paint job just shimmer in the light right there big sunroof on the top of it big nice open bed as well and on the back right there nice and clean look for this ford f-150 and our next car that we have included in here We've got the Stingrod 2, Stingrod 2. This is definitely a zombie fighting machine. Just look at this one. Look at the, like, the bombs that it just throws right there. Some sort of missiles or something like that. I don't know, that's crazy. Uh, it's kind of an interesting matte finish paint job to this one and then different colored like uh, like the windows on there, which is pretty crazy. Look at the wheel tire combination on there as well. Holy, that is insane. So there we go. Crazy, crazy looking zombie fighting machine, the Stingrod 2. And our next one that we have, Tombs Up. Car number 505 from here, Tombs Up. This just looks like a zombie just completely took over a car. It's like a zombie got inside of this car and just, just made it crazy. I mean, tombs up, is it like like the zombie has taken away like a human and turned it into a car or taken a car and turned it into a zombie? I don't know. Crazy, crazy, craziness for the tomb up. And our Hot Wheels five pack number three, we have the Speed Blur five pack. Some interesting colors to these cars inside of here. Different Speed Blur graphics on the back right there. Speed Blur on the side with a car racing. Let's go ahead and pop this whistle open. So let's actually, you know what? Let's just do this the old school way. We're just gonna rip it right open like a speed machine right here. We're gonna just crazily rip it open. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of failing at this, kind of failing at this. All right, so we'll use the, the, the X-Acto knife for the rest of it here. There we go. All right, we X-Acto knife the bottom of it. All cars are safe. No cars were damaged in the opening of that packaging here. We've got our first car up right here, and it is the 2013 Ford Mustang GT. And this is an interesting one. It's a, it's a fully, like, it feels like a fully plastic body on here. I could be mistaken. Maybe it's just the matte finish paint job on there, but it does, uh, no, maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I think it is a, a, a metal one right here, but it's that, that matte finish paint job that makes it feel slightly plasticky on here. Uh, gray wheels, black, or no, sorry, gray tires with the black wheels. There's your speed blur graphics on the back of it just going right through. We got the parachute on the back, that nice spoiler on there for this one right here. HW graphics, it says, with the Hot Wheels logo on that side. So it's actually different on this side compared to this side. So that's really cool. I really do like that. We got the circle on this side. No circle on this side. It just says HW graphics right there. And look at the engine on this. Holy moly, look at that V8 in there, all the cylinders up there, chromed out. Very, very cool, I like this one. That's an interesting find to this case here. And our next one that we have, the 1967 Jeepster Commando. There is our 67 Jeepster Commando right there. Look at the graphics on the side of this one right here. We got the gray wheels on here. There's that motorbike tacked on to the back of it as well. And then the white bed, white motorbike, white interior on this one as well. Chrome on the front right there. Check out all that chrome for that. Uh, I guess this would be like a winch or something on the front right there. White wheels as well which is different. And then look at the chrome on the bottom of this Jeepster Commando. Really, really different color to this one. Very, very interesting color for this Jeepster Commando. And our next one that we have included right here 
the 2012 Ford Fiesta. Check the Fiesta out. This reminds me of the Cam Block videos on YouTube where he's driving around in this Fiesta just going absolutely crazy, just all the way sideways on there. I like this color of this one. This color is becoming a very trendy color. It's kind of like grayish uh, color with like a blue hue to it, almost like a very, very uh, like mute blue hue to it. So it's interesting color, I like that. Graphics on the side of it, there we go. The number 12 on there for the 2012. Just check out the back end, that is just crazy. That wide body on that one just looks insane. And then we have from the side, very nice looking wheels. We'll put the Fiesta aside and we'll grab our next one in here. We have the Dune Crusher. Oh my gosh, this one just looks like it's just jumping right through. It's crushing over, jumping over the dunes. It just looks like it's jumping. It just looks like it's in the air. This car should just be just like this all the time. I, I really wonder if this one glows in the dark. It looks like it's like that type of glow in the dark material. And I don't know, we'll have to test after the video right here. And there we go. We look on the side of it. Very, very nice. Look at that. It even looks like it's got like snow in the tires of it. It's definitely like a snow off-roader truck. All right, we'll put him aside. And our last run from the Speed Blur package, we've got Maximum Leeway. Wow, this looks like a zebra on the side of it. Just check out the colors on that, the white wheels on there. From the top, oh my gosh, that's like zebra-ish on the top. Look, looks like a, a water drop, it went boop, and then it just zebra all the way out on this one. <laughs> just check that out. I don't even know what this thing is right here. I don't know what that little thing is supposed to be there. It's like maybe a part of the engine of some sort. Got a little roll cage on the inside, all chrome on there as well. And there's that big spoiler in the back. This body is definitely a plastic body to it. So that that is for sure. This is a plastic one, but interesting for our speed blur, the maximum leeway. Toxic Creatures 5 pack. This one with a lot of really crazy looking cars inside of it. We have some information on the back, all sorts, some sort of like big city with all the toxic creatures inside. And it says city toxic creatures on the side of it as well. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Hopefully we can get this one open up successfully here. We'll do, we'll do the we'll do the half and half here or, or maybe like two thirds type of thing here where we cut it open just like that with our X-Acto knife. We're very careful with that. We'll pull out the cars right here and we'll start from our first one on the top and we've got the Dune Daddy. Check out the Dune Daddy on here. Look at that jumping through everything. It's got the mudded out tires on there. Weird top. I don't know what this is, if it's supposed to be a spare tire of some sort. And then on the back, we've got the double exhaust on there. These wheel tire combination look kind of dirty, kind of meant to be like it's a dune buggy. We'll put the dune daddy aside and we'll grab our next one in here. This one is a crazy one right here. We've got the Fangster. Oh my gosh. Just look at that. Look at that. Like actually, I kind of wish it had like the mouth open on there, but it's almost like the fangs are like part of the exhaust that comes out the front. I don't know if it's supposed to be or not. We got the big engine on the side of it cool looking wheels on there and then on the back what is this this is like some sort of just weird big metal piece like i guess that's supposed to be like that i'm not really sure what the point of it is i guess it is to secure the tail that kind of comes around right there for this one called the fangster very crazy looking design we'll put the fangster aside we'll grab our next car from here we've got the hollow back there it is. Hollowback looks kind of like a kind of like a charger of some sort. Or no, 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 like a challenger. It looks like a challenger, like a modern challenger. But then you look at the front end. What is going on with that? That is crazy. Oh my gosh, like what is this thing that like part of the body that comes across with the engine cylinders just sticking out from the side? All oh, lots of chrome on the interior. And what is this? Like an engine in the back, too? Is it? I don't know. There's this like some sort of fan. I don't think that's a spare wheel. That's like some sort of fan. So it's got like a, a double engine on here. Hollow back. Wow. Okay. This is a crazy looking fantasy car. The hollow back. We'll put him aside right there. And we'll grab our next one. The off duty. Look at the off duty. So we've got the HWFD. So the Hot Wheels fire department. I mean, for all these, these toxic creatures, you do need some toxic control. So we, we have the the fire truck that's going to help out with that one. And this one looks like it has no problem getting through all those toxic creatures right there. We look from the back end, very clean, nice big rugged tires on this one. Chrome on like the side, but then it's black on the base right there. But not bad. I like this one. Just looks like a really tough truck. Very, very cool. All right, we'll put the off duty aside. And we've got our last one. We've got another rescue car. It is the Rapid Response. 
rapid response and this one i guess it's going to go take all the people that got poisoned from all the toxic and help them out or or not not yeah maybe it's the toxic creatures the creatures that that actually bit them so maybe it got it got this one got bit by fangster Fangster. So Fangster, someone got bit by Fangster. And then we've got the rapid response coming in and helping rapid response. I know I'm just making stuff up now. I'm just making stuff up. Gold wheels on there, but there we go. We got the rapid response. And our next Hot Wheels five pack, we've got the Lamborghini five pack. One of my favorites that we're opening up today. Some great looking Lamborghinis inside of this five pack. So let's go ahead and we'll just, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll cut this one this time. We'll cut this one fully. We'll do it a little bit differently for all of them. We'll cut them. Them. We're not going to cut any Lamborghinis. No Lamborghinis hurt in the opening of this package right here. We'll pull it out. We've got our first one right here, the Lamborghini Veneno. Check out the color of this one right here. Just shining. It's got like that metallic flake in the paint job right there. All the slots and design. I just really, really like the Veneno. I think it's one of the most exotic looking Lamborghinis ever made. I like it better than the Centenario as well. Some might argue with me, but I think the Veneno is just way more exotic and cool looking. Just look at that from the front end right there. Just absolutely craziness. I cannot believe this one. Love the blacked out wheels and we'll put the Veneno aside. We'll grab our next one right here. The Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo. And actually, I'll just double check. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. Just to confirm the exact name. This blue is fantastic. Love it. Blue is one of my favorite colors. Absolutely love the blue on here. We've got these uh, nice colored wheels on there as well. Look at that. Just a nice contrast with the blue. And I love the front end of this one. All the, the tampa work on there. Even on the top, that little painted top right there as well. Big spoiler on here. Big rear diffuser on here. Just a really, really good looking Lamborghini. Absolutely love it. We'll put that one aside. And one of my favorite Hot Wheels of all time. One of my favorite castings of all time. I actually prefer the yellow speed machines variation as opposed to this one, but this is the Lamborghini Murcielago SV. And uh, they stopped making this casting for a while and then they brought it back. Now we've got it in this five pack. I'm hoping it comes back to the main lines as well. We get some more color variations in the main lines, but I love it. I love the spoiler on here. I love the design of that front diffuser on there. I love the, the side, the SV logo right there. The nice blacked out wheels with the colored lip. And just check out that back. Wow, absolutely amazing. Love the Lamborghini Murcielago SV. Like I said, it's one of my favorite Hot Wheels castings of all time. Just an excellent, excellent designs car. Looks so exotic looking. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, and our next one we have the Lamborghini Aventador J. And we've got this one in a nice matte white finish. We've got the striping on the front right there, just a, a little dual stripe right there. The Lamborghini logo right on the front end. Nice looking aggressive headlight design on this one as well. From the side, you can see, look at those gray wheels, looks excellent. And then look at from the back, a nice clean look on there. Only one Lamborghini Aventador J's were ever made in real life. So it's very, very rare, but we've got lots of different color variations of it made for the Hot Wheels lineup. And this one in our Hot Wheels Lamborghini five pack, we'll put it aside. And our final car from the Lamborghini five pack we've got the lamborghini gallardo super legera i think it's the lp 570-4 i wonder if it says on the bottom right here yep lp 570-4 super legera i got it right we've got the orange one chrome wheels on there super legera little logo just right on the side right there on the front end you can see it's a different front end for the super legera and then it's got that little spoiler just on the back right there Helps with the aerodynamics of this one. Just an excellent designs car. I mean, really, is there any badly designed Lamborghinis? There is not. Lamborghini makes some great, great looking vehicles and they are fantastic. Loving to see them in the Hot Wheels lineup. And our last five pack that we're opening up today, we've got the Rocket League five pack, as you can see right here. We've got some special cars in here, some classic Hot Wheels in there as well. And you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's open this one up with no exacto knife, our final one. Let's see if we can finally do it right here. Wow, it's giving, it's giving us a hard time. It's giving us a hard time. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Open up right there. All right, there we go. We've got it, we've got it. Completely ripped, completely wrecked packaging right here. Cars are dropping out of it, but we'll pull it out. All right, there we go, we've got it. All right, let's take our first car right here that dropped out right here. We've got 
the Twin Mill 3. Check it out, Twin Mill 3. Third variation of the Twin Mill. I like it, I like it. It's an interesting design to it. Look at the slots, it looks a lot more aerodynamic, a lot more modern looking. Huge wheels on the back, smaller ones in the front, and of course, there is your Twin Mill. Awesome, love it, love it, love it. And this one is, obviously got the Rocket League logo on there like most of these cars right there, so there it is your Rocket League logo for your Rocket League 5 pack right here. And we'll grab, we'll go to the top now for the next one right here. For this one, we've got the Gazella GT. This one in like a nice kind of, I don't know what this is. It's almost like a satin finish paint job right there. We got the blue windows on there. White wheels with the black inserts. Rocket League right on the side of it, as you can see. Very, very nice right there from the back. Kind of looks like a Jaguar type car from the back end right there. But looks very, very good. Very aerodynamic, very fast for Rocket League. We'll put that one aside. And we'll grab our next one right here. We've got the MR11 or MR11. I'm not sure the exact pronunciations of it on how you say it. But this one, it's very unique because look at it. It's got like soccer balls right there to give it the aerodynamics. That is crazy. Like you see the one, two, three, four soccer balls. And then we've got the Rocket League logo right there. And this one just looks like a fast one. That's actually a cool looking car. I would like to see this one come out. The front end, maybe not so much. It's kind of a little bit ugly from the front end, but from the side, it looks like a, like a nice sports car. Very cool looking aerodynamics from the back. Look at the four exhaust tips on this one as well. Very, very nice. Awesome. We'll put that one aside and we'll grab our next one right here. We've got the Fast 4WD or fast four wheel drive right there. This almost looks like a like a similar, like a fantasy fiesta car. Maybe a little bit more aggressive with that big spoiler on the back right there. Check, like why do you need four stands for this spoiler? That is crazy. And then from the side, we got the little Rocket League logo right there. And then from the front end, this one looks like it, it can just like super zoom around and super turn, I guess like, like a Ken Block version of the Fiesta. There we go. All right, look at the front end right there. Crazy looking car. Awesome, we'll put him aside. And then our very last car that we're looking at today, how awesome and amazing is it that our last car is the very, very classic Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, the Rocket League edition. So you can see the Rocket League logo just on the side right there. The big exhaust coming out, the blacked out wheels with colored lip on there, chrome interior, lots of chrome all around, the chrome gas tank on the back right there, the chrome engine, of course, the Bone Shaker with the classic skull on the front end. The Bone Shaker, one of the best Hot Wheels ever made for a fantasy car. Love it, love it, love it. And there is all of your Hot Wheels five pack that we opened up today guys make sure you leave a comment down below which one was your favorite and don't forget to like and subscribe and follow catch you guys on the next one bye bye